All right. So, hey there, everyone. This is a vlog, because I said I would do these every now and then. I feel that they're a, a good way to uh, just kind of talk to the audience and just talk about what's going on with the channel and things like that and different plans. So, this is my vlog for this time. I am going to announce a couple things here. First of all, uh, a new series. I'm going to be doing a new series focused on the tangled mess that is Steam Early Access. Now, that is because... Well, a lot of it has to do with Steam's new terms of service changes that essentially they illegally allow, more or less, uh, developers of early access games to never finish their games and continue having them on Steam and continue being able to charge for them. This is obviously a piece of legislation, well not a piece of legislation, sorry, a piece of uh, kind of legalese inserted into their current terms of service to you know, kind of protect their own asses, but as with a lot of business-minded decisions, sometimes it, it hurts the consumer a bit. And what this uh, this change really means, for the most part, is one thing, and that is early access isn't going anywhere. Yeah, Steam early access is something that I feel has a lot of problems. In fact, it's uh, something I've even made a video on before, on how it might be resolved, or start to be resolved. Obviously there's no perfect solution. But what this means is, early access is going to continue to be around. Now at first I wanted to just stay away from any early access games in terms of video coverage. Uh, that I, you know, there are plenty of finished games that I could make videos of, and, uh, you know, that's what I should do. However, in light of this new change, I, I think there's a better way for me to go about it. Now, this piece of uh, terms of service change makes it so where people are going to be even more afraid of early access because there are a lot of very, very publicized, very commonly um, referred to instances of early access games that have failed to deliver, that are abandoned projects, that are falsely advertised or represented, and that are basically rip-offs. You know, things like Towns, of course, come to mind. Things like The War Z. Uh, things like... Gosh, there have been several, really. But, uh, all in all, Steam Early Access is a very popular thing still. And there are a lot of people either getting burned or very tentative about it. You know, they, they want to put their money on something, but they're not sure if it's even worth it. So what I'm going to do is make a series that focuses on early access successes and uh, very good, in my opinion. Of course, this is going to be opinion-based, but I'm going to try my best. Very good early access titles. So basically that means either titles that are still in early access that are very promising, have very good dev interaction, very good and uh, regular updates, lots of support, and have a promise to be a finished title sooner rather than later, or games that have made it through early access successfully and are now released products. The game in the background is, of course, a little bit of Sir, You Are Being Hunted, because I thought it was relevant to this, because it is one of those games. It is a game that was in early access for a while, has reached 1.0, and is now actually, at time of recording, 1.1, and is a full game you can buy for your real Earth dollars, and, uh, you know, it's done. So this new series is going to be called A Hitchhiker's Guide to Early Access. And that's exactly what it is. It is shining the spotlight on things that, in my opinion, are worth it. It is taking the publicity away, in a small way, because I'm a small channel, but, you know, I'm trying, from the bad things. Because there are lots of examples, of course, like I said, of just awful business practices, unfriendly devs, and more or less scams, for lack of a better word. But there are lots of good games on Early Access, or games that have made it through Early Access and are worthy of your attention, and this series is to take that wrongfully garnered attention from the douchebags and the scams and the ripoffs, and to put it on reliable developers that are trying their best and just plain good games because that's what this channel is about so yeah that's what i'm going to be trying to do 
This new series is going to start off with an episode on Don't Starve, as well as one on So You're Being Hunted, and I have a couple more ideas lined up, like things such as Dungeon Mans and a few others. So what this really means is uh, I, it's, I'm going to be splitting my focus a bit between my main series, which is a first impressions, not really a review, but a first impression style series known as Leaperscope, which is of course named after the item in the Final Fantasy series that gives you the information of whatever you use it on. It's a, uh, well, that's, that's why it's called that. Clever? Yes? No? No one? Okay. And I'm going to be making this as well, so... I'm going to try to keep variety on this channel. Variety is important, I feel. This is a variety gaming, PC-focused channel. Now, also, uh, if anyone has suggestions, I will gladly take them. If anyone has any ideas or any input on worthwhile early access projects or finished games, I will gladly look into them. Because there's a lot on there, and it's very clearly not going anywhere, and I basically... I want to make it a more consumer-friendly place, because right now it is the opposite of that. It is not a a very consumer-friendly place. It is a tangle. It's a mess. And uh, Valve's current solution is to basically wash their hands and let it go. Let the free market do what it will. And uh, although I don't like that, really, gotta be honest, uh, it's still a system with potential that can do some good things and is doing good things, so I'm going to highlight those things. Now, secondly, I am going to be, um, well, I guess I might as well just say it. I, I built a new computer. I will put the specs up, officially, the new updated specs on my channel info page, but uh, that's why there has been a lot slower video production lately, because getting everything reinstalled, getting my stuff moved over, getting my licenses re-redeemed, um, all my license keys, you know, a lot of software is at limited use, DRM and things like that. Getting my Steam games reinstalled, it's taken a while, and then getting all these new video production and rendering settings has been quite difficult. So that's, that's done now, and hopefully, starting with the Watch Dogs video onward, you will be seeing much higher quality visual videos with a lot less artifacting, um, better encoding practice and things like that, and just a higher, higher quality in general. I'm hoping for at least. I'm also hoping my commentary is getting a bit better, I'm getting less rambly, and I'm providing good insights. And of course, any feedback on those things is appreciated. I, I read everything, good or bad. Uh, the specs, like I said, I'll post on the page, but a quick overview if you want it. The uh, graphics card is my baby. It's a GTX 780 Ti from NVIDIA. The CPU is an Intel Core i7-4820K. It is a quad-core processor that runs 3.7 GHz, and I'm probably going to be overclocking it to 4.0 fairly soon because I have a pretty potent Corsair liquid cooling system with some of those new fans they just put out. Uh, the case is a... Um, oh, how could I forget? A Thermaltake Level 10 GT. I've got 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Rip Jaws 2200 megahertz RAM. I recommend that. That stuff's awesome. Got a nice Corsair power supply, 700. And, uh, it's gold certified. I also, just as a building tip, get gold. If you're gonna get a power supply, just do it. It's recommended you will not have to replace your graphics card or your processor every couple of months. You don't want to do that. And, uh, that's pretty much, I guess, my announcements for now. That's my hope. I'm, I want to say I really appreciate all the views I've been getting. I am far from the most popular channel, but uh, I'm growing, and you guys are helping me out a lot. The, um, the views have been increasing. I know I'm, a, you know, I'm very small potatoes right now, but every little bit is awesome for me to see because this is well, <laughs> a little life story here. Ever since I was a kid, it was my dream to have a show on TV where I reviewed video games and got paid for it. I used to come home from school and turn on tech TV and watch Extended Play with Adam Sessler. He has been one of my biggest influences uh, in my life, really. I've, I've watched his career quite closely. 
And basically the modern equivalent of gaming television is YouTube. And I'm really happy to actually be doing this successfully. It's awesome. And uh, I hope to keep growing. I'm, you know, far from... Uh, far from done. I'm not going to abandon this. This is not just a passion project. It is... Not a fad. It is not a hobby. It, I want it as a career, eventually. And, uh... You guys are amazing. I get nice comments. I get bad comments and messages. That's fine. I still read through them because even um, negative comments can have very useful feedback, even if sometimes it is cloaked in hatred, which I've gotten a few messages that are not so nice. No names. Doesn't matter. But uh, that's okay. I mean, that's it's fine. It's all part of the process. The anonymity of the internet can make people assholes, but in one way or another, it still helps me improve. So again, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you continue to do so. Thanks for all the subscriptions. And this is my 100th video. Yes, yes indeed. This is my 100th upload. I technically would have had more than that. I've had to delete about six or seven videos. But, um, you know, things I just didn't think were up to snuff and things like that. <clears throat> You'd be surprised how many recordings I make that don't actually make it on YouTube. But anyway... I'm so glad to be doing this, and this whole planning for a new series thing, and just all of this, this is all something I never thought I'd do. Uh, I have an audience. I mean, it's small, but that's a really cool thought, to step back and think that there are people out there that are watching me, people I don't know, people that I'll probably never meet, that are listening to my words, and hopefully enjoying what I produce, and that's, that's very cool. So, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, again, feedback is always welcome, messages, comments, I read it all. Um, wishes for things I should be doing. Of course, I always take into consideration. I don't necessarily take direct requests, per se, because someone asking me to do something doesn't necessarily mean I can just do it. I am not particularly wealthy, we'll just say, so I can't go out and buy every new release, unfortunately, as much as I wish I could, but I try, and I'm going to try to keep covering heavy stuff. I'm really excited for The Witcher 3. Holy crap, that comes out two days before my birthday. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this up now. And uh, again, that's mostly an announcement for my new series. So along with Libroscope and Retrospectives, which I haven't done one in a while, I'm going to be doing more of, as well as some new mod spotlights coming back to Skyrim. So uh, watch out for that. There's going to be a lot more Skyrim content in the future, but it's going to take me a few days, maybe even a couple of weeks, to get stuff reinstalled. We've been having some intermittent internet issues around here. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but, I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. Woo, Comcast, you're awesome. Cough. So, yeah, that's uh, my presentation for today. Thank you for watching very much. I will head my next video up, number 101. It will be a Hitchhiker's Guide to Early Access on Don't Starve. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. Feedback necessary, please. And, uh, I guess that concludes today. So hopefully, hopefully you guys stick around and tell your friends that I'm awesome. I'm, I'm not, I'm not awesome, am I? That's okay, tell them I am anyway. Uh, lie to them, lie to your friends. Yes, someone on YouTube is asking you to lie to your friends. He must be a good person. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Oh dear. Don't lie to your friends, please.